do y'all think? Change the game up a little bit? Yeah, I think they're a little nice on here. What's going on YouTube? What's going on? So everybody that tuning in, today's video is gonna be about um, me changing the brakes on the Monte Carlo. Not the cut this because it's got good brakes around it. But um, I just crunked the Monte Carlo up. See idling pretty high. Haven't crunked up in about two weeks. And we're gonna get to um, changing these brakes around. After I got the transmission done, and um, now I'm gonna get around to changing the brakes. See, she she breathing pretty good. She need to be driven. But the um the brakes are not as good. They work, but they're not as good. I don't get no stopping power. So I'm gonna change the brakes on the back side and the front side. And then I'm gonna get some new wheels put on this thing because it's kind of scrubbing a little bit in the front and I'm gonna show you when I take the wheel off. So let me get her backed up. Let me get her backed up and uh, get these wheels taken off. All right, I got her backed up, turned around. Had to bring into some shade, man, because um, I don't want to be working in the sun and I need to change the um, yard around a little bit, putting the um, cutting this in the driveway. But on um, safety first, man, always, always put your jack stands under your car when working on them. Never leave your jack under the car. Even if you got a pretty good jack, you know, you can't always be too safe. So you wanna always have your good set of jack stands. Six time. 12 time, whatever I do. Or you can put your jack under there and a wheel under there. But uh, we finna get these wheels off of here. And I'm finna uh, show y'all what we got, man. So let's go ahead and get to it. I'm using to take the wheels off is a um, 3 fourths, three, three and a quarter socket and an uh, impact gun. I don't know how much charge this impact gun got because I haven't I haven't charged it up in a while. So I don't use it as much. But we're gonna hope it get the job done. That first nut, it won that it won that tight. Maybe I forgot to tighten it back up. Maybe I forgot to tighten it back up when I took the wheels off. Ooh. Don't want to cross thread it. And a nut got stuck in there. I want to always hand tighten these things up first. Don't want to cross thread it. So I'm gonna put it back on. Just a break. Used to be able to wiggle these things off, but she on there.
me show y'all where it was scrubbing that. You can see that, that silver piece going all the way around. You can see where it's scrubbing pretty rough right here. It's only a little bit, but it's a, it's enough to make you wanna say what the hell going on when you're driving it. Scrubbing right there. Cause these wheels come off of a um, Trans Am. So we're gonna get this out the way. Take a look at these brakes. Well, you can see these brakes ain't been changed in a long while. See, it was kind of the wheel was kind of hidden right here too, and right there when you turn I can't see anywhere else it was hidden on the rotor or the brake caliber so I'm gonna go ahead and get these things off of here I might have to turn the wheel a little bit so that's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna go ahead and get the wheel turned now that we got the wheel turned I can access the caliber a lot better I can see it's one bolt right here at the top and then it's another bolt right here I believe it looks like it's a uh, alley, alley key wrench so yeah these got to be original yeah alley key wrench right there and another alley at the top so let me go in the garage and find my Allen key wrench and hopefully these, these come off. I'm gonna spray them with some WD-40 first. All right, we've got our um, WD-40. I'm gonna spray on the lug nuts or the screws whatever holding them in because I know these haven't been off in years 12 13 years so I'm just gonna spray and let this lubricate everything that'll move and um, let it sit for about a couple seconds it shouldn't take that long couple seconds it shouldn't take that long hopefully I won't have to use too much force getting it out and the size alley wrench I have to use is the biggest size I got on here yeah it's the biggest size I got on here so I'm gonna see what that gonna do start with the bottom one first oh don't have nothing Okay, that one want to move a little bit, but I don't want to break it. Okay, that one's moving a little bit. So I'm gonna spray a little bit more WD-40 on it. The bottom one don't want to move at all. Yeah. The bottom one don't want to move at all, so I had to let this sit for a little while. Spray a lot of WD-40 on there. They probably rusted in there. So I'm gonna cut y'all back on after I soak this down and let it sit. Okay, I finally got them freed up. It took it. A, it took me a little minute, but um, I had to soak them down and let them sit, cause they was like almost frozen on there. Top one came loose. I didn't. I wasn't for sure if it was unscrewing or not, and I didn't want to mess nothing up. But it eventually came unloose to where I can screw it, unscrew it now. So I'm gonna have to um, soak these down with some WD-40. And um, 
clean them up a little bit. Because the rust over the years, you know, it'll, it'll seize these things up to where you can't even um, take them out. You have to just take out this whole unit and throw it out. But the rotor, the rotor, the rotor looked pretty good. That's my guesstimation, you know, just eyeballing it. The rotor looked pretty good. I'm gonna put these new brakes on and then see. So yeah, this is all, that's all um, just dirt and rust. So I'm gonna spray this whole thing down with WD-40 and use a, wire, or use a wire brush to clean it off. Come off of that and see. But uh, I'm gonna leave the bottom one on because I basically I just wanna I just wanna roll it back. I try to. Or maybe it comes up. I might well just take it off. I know how to put it back on. Yeah, see that's the bottom. Looked like it had like some C's, some thread sealing on there or something. Okay, it comes off like that. And you wanna be careful not to twist this line right here. So what I'm gonna do is, um, I usually have a closed clothes hanger I can just hang it up like that somewhere but um I don't right now so we'll just take these um, take these brakes off and I'm gonna clean this whole caliber up yeah see how silver and shiny it is so it's not gonna get any traction at all. Still had a good bit of brakes left, but so shiny it's not gripping the rotor and stopping the car like it should. So once it becomes shiny like that, it's like no resistance. So um, let's see if my new brake brakes have the same pins and all that good stuff on it. Then I can put it back together. Just got to remember how these things came off. So that's another good thing of recording. Remembering how they came off. Yeah. So let me cut y'all back on. Let me match the other um, brake pads up and everything. And then we get started. So this is the new brake pad. And it does... It does matches up with the old one. Yeah. The bottom one is the old one. Top one is the new one. You can see how shiny the bottom one is versus the top. So um, we're going to put these, these one on. See how they do. This this side right here, it's kind of frozen on there. Yeah. There it go. Took a little bit to take that off, but it was frozen on there. So out with the old, in with the new. Uh, but first I gotta um clean this mess up man you see it got all kind of spider residue
And yeah, you want to clean all that off. Uh, get around to paint it on another video. And I want to try to keep this hose, this little piece right here from twisting. That's the best I'm gonna do. I'm not gonna clean it up to the T. But um now I gotta compress this caliber in. And what I use is old grip tool. Open her up and then just slide her in. I'm not gonna compress her all the way in, just enough to get the new brake pads on and to go over the um, rotor. Should, that should do it. And now, we basically put the brakes back on the uh, same way we took them off. Pretty simple, man. Pretty, pretty simple. Now, now that I got the brakes on there, I'm gonna go ahead and um, clean up the, the bolts. I'm gonna go ahead and clean up the bolts before I put them on. Yeah, so I gotta clean these up before I put them on, so I'm gonna cut y'all back on in a minute. All right, so I got the bolts cleaned up. So now that I mocked everything up and know how it's supposed to go, before I put everything back together, I do want to use some of this caliper grease. It's synthetic um, grease and keeps the brakes quiet. So I'm gonna go ahead and use some of that. I know a lot of y'all probably thought I wasn't gonna use it, but I like to mock everything up first. But you don't have to use a lot of this grease. Um, you only need a little bit you know just to go on the back side to keep the brakes from seizing <laughs> to keep the brakes from seizing to the caliber yeah so i usually just 
apply a good little bit like that. Smooth, smooth little coating. To the back side. Oh. Try to keep that thing from um from falling. Said I don't have anything to hold the caliber up. Take this one out. Just mount the caliber up right there for right now. And I will be putting some of this on the um on the bolts as well. To keep the bolts from um locking in there like they was. You want to try not to get any of this grease on the brakes itself. I'm not a mechanic. I just do what I can do when I can do it. So, now that I got those in, I'm gonna put a little bit on the uh, on the bolts. Keep it from um, squee squeaking and squealing. I don't know if I'm not gonna put any on the threads. Cause I don't want the threads to loosen up or back off of there. Only on the um shaft part. Like I said, um, I'm not a mechanic, so if I continue to do this for another 10, 15 years, then I become one. But right now, I'm just learning as I go. As a lot of you do it yourselfers should. So right now, I'm gonna um, slide this top bolt in, put a little grease on there, and I'm gonna slide her on there. The brake, the rotors, still spin free. I had to um, I had to just loosen it up a little bit. Grab my Allen wrench to get the bottom on in. Yeah, so um, the other side should go on a lot, a lot smoother. This is my first time changing calipers, front caliper brakes. So if you're still watching, man, go ahead and hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, man. Appreciate y'all support. I'm going to um, make sure everything's level and even before I tighten everything all the way down. I know um, the next time I do it, I'm going to get a little, I'm going to get something that can go on my power tool instead of doing this by hand because as you can see, it takes it a little minute. It takes me a little minute to do it by hand, but it gets the job done. So I'ma get ready, I'ma get finished tightening this up and then I'ma um, switch over to the other side. I'll see y'all in a minute. Okay, I do wanna check something out before I um, put the wheel back on. I wanna see, I wanna see if these wheels are fit on here. They are five by seven not sure they'll fit but most of the time they should 
Yep. Perfect. Lug nut to go in to line it all the way up. She on there perfect, man. What do y'all think? Change the game up a little bit. Yeah, I think they're a little nice on here. So I'm gonna get some tires for this uh, for these wheels. And I'm gonna put them on this Monte Carlo right here. I think they'll go nice. I'm gonna see if these chrome wheels will fit as well. Yeah. So I had a guy. I had a guy come to meet me in um in Riverdale, Georgia, to swap with these wheels. And he wasn't sure if they was gonna fit because of uh the lug pattern right here, I mean, the indentation. And I told him it'll fit, you just gotta get the right lug nut to go in and lock in there. Everything's be everything, but uh, he said he called his uh, tire guy and he said it wasn't gonna fit. But as you can see, the wheels fit perfectly. Get, the, um, get a bigger lug nut that'll fit your, um, your threads and you good to go no shaking no play because the center matches the center you see what i'm saying the center matches the center so he could have had a good deal uh, we were swapping some wheels out he could have had them but um if you see this video my boy i'm just gonna have to sell them to you man i ain't gonna i ain't gonna swap them out this time because i'm gonna put some wheels on there as well but let me check out these chrome ones let me check out the chrome wheels I knew, I knew them wheels was gonna fit a Monte Carlo, man. He was just unsure. And um, ain't nothing wrong with being unsure. You know, you wanna be for sure of what you're getting. Okay, YouTube. Okay, YouTube. What y'all think about these? What y'all think about them on there? I don't know, YouTube. The chrome might look a little better. I had to put I had to put some tires on there to see for sure. But these are some um, American racing wheels right here. So I got options, man. My plan was to put the chrome wheels on the old cutlass over there. You know, so. We'll see, but hey, that looks that looks pretty fair right there, man. Yes, sir. You're pretty wide. Yeah, pretty wide. So it might it might rub if you cut a corner too tight. Cause that's a wide rim. It's, I think it's like nine inches. Yeah. So. Let me go on and get this off, man. If y'all want them, y'all can get them, man. $350. They got a little chrome pitting going on. Go ahead and put these back on. And these are a set of brand new wheels. Haven't been on the road, but maybe once or twice. Still haven't got all the tape off of it yet. And um, wheels in pretty good condition. So if you want these, you can buy these from me. $500, $500. That's how much I pay for the whole setup. $500 for new tires and the rim. So, uh, turn the wheel back straight.
I got I got some more lug nuts. It's just I'm not gonna put them on yet until I get the wheels I want on here first. So go ahead and put these these lug nuts back on. We'll cut y'all back on when I um, get to the other side. All right, now that I don't got both front wheels done, I'm gonna go ahead and um, press the brakes down, get the fluid going back to the um, caliber. And then I'll do the um, back brakes on another video. So y'all wanna see the next episode of the back brakes? I know they probably be worse than the um, front brakes, but uh, I'm gonna get to them anyway. So go ahead and like, comment, subscribe, and stay tuned for the next episode of building this 84 Monte Carlo. Appreciate y'all for watching. I'm finna head out and get me some lunch. And um, <clears throat> I'm gonna see y'all in the comments. Do what y'all do. All on. Cause daddy, he keep a cutter Ain't nothing for me to cut up My mama